How's it hanging everybody? Welcome back to another video. So I watched the Mortal Kombat trailer last week and I gotta say, it looks pretty good. All of the characters actually look and feel like the characters from the video games. The only thing that I am sort of hesitating about is the new character, Cole Young. I'll explain more later on. In this video, I will be going over my wish list of what I wanna see happen in the new Mortal Kombat movie. But before we begin, do me a big favor and back back B the like button. All right, so the first item on my wish list is to limit the new character. I really don't want the new character to be the main focus of the film. I feel like there's already a lot of characters in this movie, as there are a lot of characters in the video games. So the more time devoted to this new character will result in less time devoted to the characters we know and love. And also, no offense to the actor portraying Cole Young, but he just doesn't seem that interesting based off of the trailer. I know I heard some theories that he could be Scorpion's son or Sub-Zero's son, which is fine, but I'd rather just see Scorpion and Sub-Zero fight each other. I really just don't want this to be like another Resident Evil where the entire franchise revolves around this new character no one cares about. Speaking of franchises, the second item on my wish list is to make Mortal Kombat a trilogy. There's more than enough story there for you to turn this into a franchise. This leads straight into my next item, which is to save Shao Kahn for the next film. I think it would be a huge mistake if if they defeat or kill off Shao Kahn in this film. Take a page out of the Marvel playbook and save him for the next films. You can show hints of him in this film, like in the trailer where you can see the statue of Shao Kahn. He'll be in the background manipulating things behind the scenes, but he won't be in the forefront as the main bad guy. Pretty much just make him like Thanos. You can let Shang Tsung do a lot of the heavy lifting, but I think it would be even more awesome if they made Sub-Zero the main baddie. I mean, I feel like the trailer has already given us a lot of hints that Sub-Zero will be the main bad guy. He's probably the most featured character in the trailer. We see him murder people, attack Scorpion's village. He's also now the man responsible for removing Jax's arms. This movie could be building up to where everybody has a vendetta against Sub-Zero and they all just wanna kill him. Which will be great because it makes Sub-Zero a strong foe for our heroes. And it also saves Shao Kahn and Shang Tsung for the next films. The last item on my wish list is the most important one, which is to play the original MK theme song at the climax of the film. I don't want to hear the theme song at the start of the film. I definitely don't want to hear it at the end of the credits. I want to hear it come on the screen into our eardrums right when our characters are down and out. The bad guys have the upper hand and are about to beat the heroes. All of a sudden we see fire shoot up from the ground and out walks Scorpion from hell. This is where the theme song starts playing. Scorpion arrives and just dishes out a can of whoop ass on everybody. The good guys now have their strength and are helping Scorpion defeat the bad guys. At the very end of this battle, we see Scorpion do a fatality on Sub-Zero. And that is how the movie ends. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know what you guys thought about my wishlist. And also leave some comments on what you want to see in the new Mortal Kombat movie.